Welcome to Realtor Gary Kelly's podcast on all things real estate. Hi, this is Gary Kelly. Welcome back to the show. We're here at Chet Steiner today. Kind of cheating on Lala Java, but uh, there, it's all North Bro, it's all good. We're here with Carl Lund of Heritage. Uh, is Red- it renovation? Or Heritage remodel? renovation and custom building. Wow. Big name. That's a big name. To talk about different things in, in the industry. And one of the things that Carl specifically said he wanted to talk about was building permits. So, Carl, what do you want to talk about? Homeowners or anybody that's having any kind of a project done should research whether their project needs a building permit. Easy call to the building department. I'm putting in a new front door of my house with a storm door. It may not require a building permit, but at least check on it. And the building inspector is not an adversarial component to your project. He's there to make sure that when you take a building permit, you're getting the minimum requirements required by the building code. And it's to your benefit. It will be filed in your file, on your in your records of the town. And you go to sell your house if you've had that addition done, if you've had that basement redone, the attic redone. All that information will be on a file that it was done through a building permit and was all signed off. So help me with kind of the categories. Because in in my mind, it used to be years ago that if you were changing the structure, you had to have a building permit. But now I hear you've got to have a building permit to replace a roof. Or you have to have a building permit in some towns to replace a toilet. Just one for one replacement. Now help me with where it makes sense, not where it makes sense, but where legally you're supposed to have a building permit. Oh, that's a that's a broad, broad it quest, and it's a broad question. Roofing, siding, replacement windows all require a uh, building permit. Uh, mainly the windows are for egress issues. Bedrooms have to have a certain opening to them as a second egress. Uh, roofing permits to make sure that the right components went into your roof, your chimney's been re wetted. Make sure you have a watertight job. Again, the call to the building department, and the secretary can answer it, or the build, some building official can answer it, if a permit is required for that particular job. A lot of repairs, some siding repairs, uh, window repairs, if you just, generally does not require a building permit. So why, why is it when Bob the Builder comes out to see me, and Bob the Builder, I'm, I'm, you're, you're thinking of a particular I town, <laughs> we all are. Um, when, when, when a builder comes out and they say, do you want to pull a permit? Why are they even asking that question? They should know the answer. They should. Most of the contractors that I know, including myself, if we're going to do a project, we did a simple one here on a Chet's Diner, put a portico roof over the front door. We went down and got a permit. And Yes, it was required, but we just automatically take a permit. It covers the, uh, it covers your butt. If you're the contractor, you've done everything that you're supposed to do, the electrical, the plumbing, the repair was done properly and signed off. And that way the homeowner, again, gets a clean well, why would why, why would anyone say no to pulling a permit? <sighs> Some people get anxious that they've done something in their house on the side Maybe, um, I won't use any examples, but they've done something, they, they're afraid the building inspectors are going to come in Homeowner and Homeowner finished the basement. Correct. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 that's, that's, gotcha. that's not an uncommon thing. Yeah. When we go down and you look in a basement, you, you get to the point, in, in at least in my business, where you can look at it, and I, I don't know, you can tell, not 100%, obviously, but if it's all pieced together and all, you can say, well, this is probably a homeowner renovation. Why, why not have it done right? Sometimes on older homes, they're avoiding ceiling height issues, uh, beam height issues as far as being able to pass underneath it, six foot four is the minimum. Um, sometimes the homeowner's done a perfectly fine job but never took a permit out. They're afraid the building department's gonna somehow clamp down on for, for requesting more inspections being done on what they did. And that's not what the building inspector's there for. He's to only inspect what you filed for. So he's not there to re-inspect the whole house and go through everything. 
you're having uh, your bathroom done and you and it's down in the basement and you had the basement redone without a permit, he's just there to look at the at the uh, bathroom. Okay. I want to continue this conversation in another segment because I think it's one that our viewers really are going to have some interest in. I want to thank you today for coming out and spending time at Chet's Diner and talking about building permits. Thank you.